Many of us still cannot get enough of Bohemian Rhapsody and the masterful performance of the extraordinary Rami Malek. Now it's announced that the brand new Oscar winner will go from Bohemian Rhapsody to 007. You'll have to see this video until the end to find out if this is a great opportunity for Rami's career or not. Recently, it has been announced that Rami will become the new villain of the legendary 007, James Bond, and the fans have already begun to wonder if this is a good choice or not. Let's be honest, unless you are Heath Ledger as the Joker in The Dark Knight, Norman Bates in the epic Psycho, Anthony Hopkins as Hannibal Lecter, Alexander Delage in the epic A Clockwork Orange, or the very Eye of Sauron in the saga The Lord of the Rings, the truth is that very few remember the villains of the movie. Movies. Yes, I know there are others, but these are the ones that Curiosips liked most. Tell us which other villains are your favorite in the comments. For that reason, both Malik and James Bond fans have begun to question whether this new character, which by the way has no name, will benefit Malik's career or just the opposite. What's more, with the announcement, many have already begun to compare him with other villains in the history of 007 films. If we think about it, there are several Bond enemies that are quite memorable. Some of them are Max Zorin, who among the villains is actually one of the softest, but the simple fact of having been interpreted by the extraordinary Christopher Walken already makes it memorable. Another one is Francisco Scaramanga, also known as the man with the golden gun, and which was interpreted by another Christopher, but Lee. And let's not forget Raul Silva, played by Javier Bardem. However, there are some other factors that could be combined to make Malik's participation equally memorable. The first one is obviously the enormous success obtained by his masterful performance as the legend of rock, Freddie Mercury. Another aspect to take into account is the change of director because instead of Danny Boyle, the film will be directed by Kari Fukunaga, hence its premiere has been postponed until 2020. This is also a big deal because it is the 25th outing of the franchise and the farewell film of the first blonde James Bond in history, Daniel Craig. By the way, there are memorable 007 agents, some for not good reasons. For example, Barry Nelson, who was the first actor to play the character but on television. Maybe the biggest favorite of the majority is Sean Connery, the first to do it on the big screen. Or how about Roger Moore, the actor who has had many appearances as James Bond on seven occasions. Or Pierce Brosnan with four tapes and who for many is the worst of all, including directors, because they say they threw him out because they were simply tired of his many demands. Obviously, the great success of the franchise could not have existed existed if it were not largely for the Bond girls. Among the actresses who have given life to that character, we remember Ursula Andress, the first of them, Kim Basinger, considered the best of the decade of the 80s, Michelle Yeoh, who marked the return of 007, along with the demanding Pierce Brosnan, and the first of Asian origin, and of course, the stunning brunette Halle Berry, the first of African American origin. What origin is missing from the list? Exactly, the Latin flavor. For this reason, in the new installment, the beautiful Cuban actress Ana de Armas will be the new Bond girl. In the released video, Rami only said that he will not make it easy for 007. We will have to wait until next year to draw our conclusions. So, our Curiosips family, what do you think we can expect from Rami Malek in the 25th James Bond movie? Do you think that this new character will consolidate him as the extraordinary actor that he is, or will it backfire his career? Let us know what you think in the comments, and do not forget to subscribe to our channel to become part of our Curiosips family. Until next time.